Hello, this is Sarah from Bloomfield Analysis and today we're going to look at turning our daily timeline into a weekly timeline. This is actually surprisingly easy, I think, um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to know what week each of these dates is. So we're going to add a new row in here. So go to insert row, insert one row above and we're going to call it week and the formula we need to put in here to find out what week number it is is week num and we'll put the date in brackets and we're going to make use of this there we go here's our week number um, what you'll notice is the week number starts with a starts on a sunday so sunday in google sheets is always the first day of the week um, so we've got the week number in here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a weekly timeline. So we'll create a new tab. We'll rename that weekly timeline. And on the daily timeline, what we'll do is we'll copy the first few lines just so we can copy all our formatting over. And we'll paste that over there. There you go. Um, and here, instead of having uh, adding one day, we're going to add seven days. So each date is one week on. So if we copy that and we paste that along, we're going to leave it a bit longer than we do the days because a week is longer than a day. But let's make this one wider so we can see the whole the whole sentence um we'll copy these down if you remember all of this behind all of it here is just zeros and ones and then we've formatted zeros and ones so if it's equal to zero if it's gray and if it's greater than zero it's one and you can go to format conditional formatting to see our formatting so our saturdays and sundays are grayed out if it's equal to zero it's the light gray and if it's greater than or equal to one then it's orange what we're going to do is make use of what we already have here and we need to work out if let's hide some things so it'll stop moaning at us about the wind's dose size we'll leave the weak number in here i might do here same here we'll hide these two rows so we can still see so the week the week the task um so let's get to it we want to know if something happens in this week if something happens in this week which is week five what we can do is we do equals sum ifs we're going to sum this whole row and if there's something in that row, we're looking at this week, if anything in this week, it's the same as this week. So here you go. If there's something in that week, it will be greater than one. Okay. Copy and paste that all the way down. And then what we need to do is do our fixing so row eight is the row that we're adding up that will move down and up as we wish the week number is in row four and that will always be in row four so we need to fix that so that's function f4 and we are checking that we're in the same week so this we want to move across so we're gonna leave the um b unfixed but we don't want it to move down, so we're going to put a dollar sign there to fix it to row four. Copy that, paste that, and you can see we have now got a weekly timeline. There we go, we can check. So the 30th of Jan and the 6th of February, we're doing new guy, bad guy merges that started off on the 30th of Jan, so the week beginning 30th of Jan. We've probably got something in here on day five. 
and then it's the next week as well just be beginning third what we want to do probably is change it so our beginning of the week is a monday there's a couple of ways we can do that one way would be to do week number and then look at the day ahead so instead of the 31st look at the the 30th or we can do what is the week number of the day before so we copy that move that all the way across and then our beginning of the week will be monday so we've still got something probably starting on the Sunday the 5th so if we go to our plan uh, we start on the 4th so instead of starting on the 4th we can start this on the 6th of February our daily timeline we start on the 6th and then we start on the 6th yeah it's as simple as that yeah I said this was a simple one <laughs> Uh, one more thing that I would like to do is remove some of these grid lines because I think it looks a little bit tidy like that. So if we go to view, show, and we remove the grid lines, that just looks a little bit neater. Um, we can now hide the weeks because we need to don't need to know them anymore. So hide row there. Um, and let's even hide this one as well because we can see the week at the beginning. We don't need to know the day. There you go. And we can do the same here. We can hide the week number. I like having the date there. Thank you for listening. That was how to create a weekly timeline from a daily timeline. As always, you can download any of these templates for free at bloomfieldanalysis.com slash sting. And you can subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Like if you like it. So I know whether to do any more. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.